Hey everyone, uh, just here today to talk about how to get sound imported into Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is the uh, basics video, so we're not going to go over triggering them on an event or anything. Uh, we're just going to go over importing the audio data and turning it into a sound cube. So let's get right to it. In the content folder, what I'm going to want to do is just right click and create a new folder. I'm just going to call this, I'll call it audio. So an audio folder. I'm going to double click that and within this audio folder I'm going to click to make another new folder and I'm going to call this cues and we're going to make a, another new folder and I'm going to call this one uh, waves and what that is is the Windows audio format that uh, Unreal Engine imports. So in the waves folder uh, all we're going to do is just go to import uh, I'm going to go find some cinematic music that I have pre ready for this and I'm just going to pick one of them and click open and you'll see it imports it in a nice sound wave file uh, now to actually turn this into a cue because right now we can just drop that into our world and it will play if we hit play uh, but that's less than ideal for what we want to do so what we're going to do is we're just going to right click that sound file we imported and at the top of the rollout there's an option called create queue and I'm just going to leave it with the default name it gave it the file name with a append underscore queue and what I want to do now is I'm just going to copy this asset go into my queues folder and drag that in there so we're just going to hit move over there obviously I just had to drag it to the left of the content browser because uh, not able to copy paste in the editor but that's just for organizational purposes now the reason we make sound into a queue is if you double click that queue uh, it pops up the sound queue editor and in here uh, you can do some really subtle audio mixing if you need to or if you want to mix multiple uh, wave tracks within the editor that for some reason didn't get mixed in your external program then that can all be handled in here uh, just lets you have a little more control while you're in this queue. So you want to make sure those are saved up. Then to actually place this queue in your level, uh, we just drag and drop it like it was an asset. And now if we just drag that out there, leave everything default settings, we can just hit play. And that will allow us to play the sound queue on our level loaded. Uh, we can over here in the details section obviously change some volume multipliers or pitch multipliers. Now there's a lot of different settings you can mess with over here. Generally you'll want it by default because you'll want the sound mixed uh, correctly once it's in the editor. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stick around and maybe we'll get into some more uh, sound cue stuff a little later.